Day 6. Just about all set here for the sixth event. 400 metres. And the green light shows. We're ready to jump. Rich Outlaw, $1.40, drawn the red. Racing, Rich Outlaw away beautifully, showing speed as Harry Confetti, and Harry Confetti going with Rich Outlaw into the back straight into third. It's a promise, Maisie Jane Barb's Manda were next. A gap back to attention span, Sugar hit Zara, back at the tail is Double Fernando off the back, and it's Harry Confetti on the inside, got a length on Rich Outlaw. Three lengths away, Barb's Manda, it's a promise, Harry Confetti burns away in the straight. Harry Confetti over Rich Outlaw, Barb's Manda, it's a promise, Maisie Jane, uh, Sugar hit Zara, Double Fernando, and attention span. Nice win to Harry Confetti. Went up on the outside of Rich Outlaw early on in the race and uh, then was able to find the inside run. 23-23 the overall time. 11.25 and 11.98 your sectionals. Interim numbers, 7.186. The winning margin was two lengths, two and three quarters, second and third. And repeating that time, 23-23. So Harry Confetti takes it out. And that gives uh, Mark Davidson a, a winning double, a race-to-race -race winning double. Harry Confetti, owned by Peter Shepard. It's by Superior Panama from Show Me Confetti. Win three at start, 22. And a two out of 10 with five minors over the 400-metre trip here. Number one, Rich Outlaw, second. Owned and trained by Charmaine Field by Zipping Garth from Loco Girl. And third going to eight, Barb's Manda. Owned and trained by Warren Kelly. I found a bail from Avondale Charm. So there are your details on the uh, sixth event with Harry Confetti knocking off the uh, short-priced favourite of the day and returns 14 and 130 in doing so. A dollar four second, 7.63rd. Quinella 250, exact 750, trifecta 164, and we await the first four dividend. Seventh event on the card is a one to two win fifth grade event. Nine and ten of the scratchings. Amended start time is two fifteen. All clears there.